is indeed a pity Now is indeed a shame How we break each other's hearts And cause each other pain How we take each other's love Without thinking anymore Forgetting to give back Isn't it a pity Some things take so long But how do I explain Not too many people Can see we're all the same And because of all their tears Their eyes can't hope to see The beauty that surrounds them Isn't it a pity? Oh, isn't it a shame how we break each other's hearts and how we cause each other pain, how we take each other's love. Without thinking anymore Forgetting to give back Isn't it a pity Forgetting to give back Isn't it a pity Pity Isn't it a pity From George Harrison From the All Things Must Pass album Hello my friends that have tuned in To learn how to play this campfire version Of this old beautiful spiritual George Harrison song which he did more than 50 years ago isn't it a pity so we'll start out by showing you that I'm using our old friend the capo hack again this week so I'm using a clamp on capo on the treble side of the guitar on strings one through five on fret two and we're not capoing the sixth string and what that does is enables us to play this beautiful droning D chord shape with six strings and we really milk that drone in this song which I think is very appropriate for this song okay so we've got four chords <coughs> excuse me four chords in the song and two strumming patterns which we'll go through okay the first chord is a D six string D second chord in the song is a D with a flatted fifth. So basically, if you're looking at this D shape, what I'm doing is I'm moving my fretting finger, which is on the second fret of the third string, in my case, the index finger, and moving it down a fret to the first fret. Kind of a diminished sound, but it's not a diminished chord. It's just a D with a flatted fifth, okay? The 
the next chord in the song I'm calling a G major seventh. It's kind of a hybrid between a, a D and a G major seventh, but I'm maintaining my uh, middle finger and ring finger on strings um, one and two, respectively, on the second and third fret, just like as if it was a D, and just moving the index finger down to the fifth string, two frets above the capo, and keeping that drone going. So we've got a, a beautiful kind of a hybrid between a, a G and a D, with a little major major seventh on top. Okay, so I'm calling that G major seventh. Okay, the next chord in the song is what I'm calling an E over D. So we're basically just taking this D shape and moving it up two frets while maintaining um, the um, string six, five, and four drone. So we're starting off in a D, going to that E over D, which has some dissonance in it. it sounds a little bit disturbing, which is kind of the theme of the whole song, isn't it a pity? It's meant to, I think, in a, in a tiny way, disturb you a little bit into thinking about these concepts. Um, okay, so that's an E over D. And then the last chord in the song is, uh, is a D sus2, so it's basically a D without um, the first string fretted. So it's just uh, a D with the open uh, excuse me, first string. And I use that just to connect um, at the end of a few lines in the song to break up the monotony of the, the, the D chord. Okay, so the two strum patterns in the song, the first one I call a piano strum. It's basically an acoustic guitar trying to emulate a piano or sound like a piano. Um, so I start off this, the song with a, a down strum through all six strings. And then I hit the bass string and then I get into this thing where I'm doing that. So I'm strumming three or four of the um, strings one through four and then playing um, strings six and five on the other down strum. So it's like this. And we use that um, throughout the first verse. When we get to the second verse, we get into a hearty down, down, down. And it does that throughout the whole song until the last line where we go back to the uh, piano strum. Forgetting to give back Now isn't it a pity Okay, and those are all the elements of the song. I do think I close with a little arpeggio through that big full um, D. from a D sus2 to the D. Hammering on that second fret on the first string. Okay, that's it. So let's close out by playing um, the last verse of the song. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we're um, using our down, 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 down up to start. Down, 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 down up to start. And then we close out with that little piano strum at the end. Isn't it a pity? Now isn't it a shame? How we break each other's hearts And how we cause each other pain other's love without thinking anymore forgetting to give back mm -hmm. 
isn't it a pity? Forgetting to give back Isn't it a pity? Forgetting to give back Now isn't it a pity? And there you have it. Isn't it a pity? From George Harrison. Hope you have a wonderful week singing and playing this song. Fairly simple song. Maybe forcing you to play a new chord, that little flatted fifth. Even this G major seventh might be a new one for you in this format. Have a fantastic week, and I look forward to sending you another lesson very soon. Until then, adios, my friends.